Even on a frigid winter morning, you can see why the Finger Lakes are central New York's environmental heart and not immune to the bird flu. Here on Cayuga Lake, masked and gloved, Cornell University's Dr. Jenny Bloodgood tests for bird flu. And those swabs are going to tell us if they have a current avian influenza. You just swirl it around a few more times. That's Good. great. Yep. I got to help with the swabbing. Back in Bloodgood's lab, initial tests show three of the four ducks swabbed have the highly contagious virus. We have found many different positive species ranging uh, from waterfowl to raptors like eagles and hawks. In fact, since the outbreak began in 2022, this strain of the virus has been detected in wild birds in all 50 states. There are reports of birds falling out of the sky and washing up on beaches. What mammals have tested positive for bird flu? In New York State, it's primarily been red fox. We've seen a skunk, an opossum, a bobcat. Does that suggest that the flu is mutating? It could, yes. A mutation caused this massive die-off of elephant seals on the Argentinian coast in 2023. The beaches are still um, covered with bones. I mean, UC Davis scientist Dr. Uh, Marcella Uhart uh, says in uh, just weeks, the mutated virus spread, killing 17,000 of these top ocean predators. <clears throat> she estimates it will take the species 10 to 70 years to recover. So the bird flu has the potential to really upset an ecosystem. Absolutely, because that the, the bird flu impact is also adding to climate change and El Nino events and other dramatic changes in the ocean ecosystems. Increasingly deadly to wildlife, threatening ecosystems here and around the world. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Ithaca, New York. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.